Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back once again with another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a figure from the Captain America movie line. It is Captain America comic book series Crossbones. It's front of his package. Um, he features snap-on weapons. Um, you should be fairly familiar with this packaging right by now. On the back, we see a full shot of Crossbones, um, as well as a short bio that explains that he's an instructor at an academy for supervillains, and he's an excellent marksman and hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Um, there are you see the cross cells with him, most notably uh, Red Skull, and uh, I point him out because he and Crossbones are basically one-to-one in a case, so this figure is very hard to find. And here he is. Um, as you can see, he's holding his little automatic short stock automatic machine gun that also is a grenade launcher. It uh, fits in the hand quite nicely. Uh, the rifle really fits in that hand, this hand particularly well, although you can have him hold it, or maybe you can't. The other thing, hand does have a uh, trigger finger, but oh, it doesn't fit, so it can really only be held in his right hand. Uh, it does have some nice articulation, head can rotate. Not a lot of up and down movement, but I think it's due to the mask. Um, arms go out to the side, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. Um, the legs unfortunately feature that Marvel joint, so you know what that means. It can go out to the side, but if you want it to go forward, you gotta rotate the hip joint forward. And then uh, double knee joints and nice little ankle pivot forward and back, not side to side. Nice bulky figure. There's like a nice solid bulky feel to him that I do like. Uh, would hopefully like to see this figure used, this body at least used down the line, maybe in the G.I. Joe line, maybe somewhere else. He also comes with two green machine gun pistols which both of them fit nicely in his hand although uh the one with the trigger finger it does fit a little better just gonna hold it a little better but both hands can you know do wield these fairly well uh yes the hand is a little soft so it's not going to you know and the Stock on the the grip on the rifle is a little bigger, so it does will stretch it out. But you know, if you squeeze the hand a little, it'll close up. And there you go. Um, he doesn't come with a stand, unfortunately, so which is why I'm holding him since this is on a slight incline. But uh, he can stand well. You can get some decent action poses out of him. Uh, like I said, if you can find him get him even if you don't like the figure you can sell it on ebay uh he is quite in demand just because it's one-to-one -to, -one to a case and again this is basically the only chance we're going to get at probably getting a crossbones since uh, i doubt will he would be main released in the main marvel universe three and three quarter inch line um you know, like you know, he's one to one to a case with Red Skull. So if you see a Red Skull, you know a Crossbones was there or is there. And if you see a Crossbones, you know a Red Skull is there or was there. So uh, that's about all I have to say on him. Cool little figure. I like him. I hope you do too. It's your old pal Chuck for Crossbones. 
we'll see you next time.